Joe's here. He wants to see you. Oh, he's early. Well, send him. Uh, I'll come down. No, no. He uh, he wants to see you alone. I think. Oh, okay. Send him up then. It's not for an hour yet. You're early, but I'm glad to see you. Oh, uh, I'm afraid I'm not going to be at the funeral. Oh, really? Business? Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I understand, and Faith will, too. You didn't really know, Tom, so don't feel bad about it. Will I see you later? No. What's the matter? We won't be seeing each other at all anymore. What? We won't be seeing each other at all anymore. Why not? What's going on? Too much, probably. I didn't mean this to happen. Wait a minute. Okay, I did, but I wasn't thinking carefully. I was so involved in loving you that I couldn't see. I, I wouldn't see. I'm not the right person for you. Now I can't avoid that anymore. I have to break things off before it's too late. But it's too late now. What is this? You're coming in here and saying bye, kid? Tough break? Joe? No explanation? Nothing? I can't do any better than what I just said. I do love you. Oh, great. And I meant everything I, I said. Uh-huh. Yes. I want good things for you, a good life, and a person you can be close to. That's why this is the right thing to do. Don't I get anything to say about it? Good luck, Siobhan. Dickens Frank is. Frank? No, I, I think he uh, <clears throat> spent the night over at Faith's to uh, be with Jill, see if he could help out over there. <clears throat> Everything. Just open the files, that's all. All right, good. I'll be in touch. Did you sleep at all? No, no. You want to tell me about it? On the surface, it means that I sold political favors for political support. That's what they're going to call influence peddling. That's insane. No, it is. It's a frame, obviously. But by who or why is beyond me. Now, either that letter of endorsement was forged, 
Well, I was tricked into signing it. And Samuel Addison Snow? He's a lobbyist who once came to me last year with unsolicited campaign contributions. I turned him down. And yet he went ahead and planned the whole vice presidential business. Mm -hmm. And then the NLW people put up the money? Yeah. It seems it wasn't a grassroots groundswell for Frank Ryan after all. Frank, you couldn't know. You had nothing to do with this. Ray set this whole thing up. No, that's the logical conclusion, but I've already been to see her, and she denies knowing anything about it. She, didn't, she swore up and down she didn't. She was horrified by the whole thing, and I'm beginning to believe her. Why? Well, for one thing, she's invested so much into my career already. No, in you, personally. She couldn't care less about your career, or she wouldn't have turned those scandal photographers loose on us. If that was Ray, and we're not sure that it was, Jill, then she knows it didn't work. She knows she lost. Yeah, and it makes her crazy. I don't care what she pretends to feel. Look, I have made it clear to her that there is nothing she can do that is going to touch us. I was right, wasn't I? Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, the last thing that I want to do is get into an argument about Ray. I just wish that she was out of our lives. And I do think that she is capable of this kind of viciousness. Ray is capable of plenty, Jill, yes. But this, this isn't some kind of cheap scandal. She wouldn't take this kind of risk, even for massive spite. This, there are criminal acts involved in this, honey. These are federal violations. What about the FBI? Have you called them? Yeah, of course I have. They're working on it right now. I've just told both my officers to cooperate with them all the way. Okay, then they'll clear you. Something this elaborate cannot be managed without tracing, making tracks. I mean, what about this guy, Snow? Mr. Snow managed to die, conveniently. And now no one knows anything. I'm sorry, honey. It looks like we're in for a very bad time. Hey, at least we're together and we're going to get through it. Realistically, how bad can it get? You're, you're innocent until you're proven guilty. That's the law. This is politics. Now, if I'm, if I'm still without answers, when Jack's story breaks tomorrow, then I'll be fair game for everyone. The rest of the media, and probably the Senate Ethics Committee. They cannot press charges with these documents. Jill, come on. You're a lawyer. Oh, sure. Sure, in time I'll prove I'm innocent, because I am innocent. But meanwhile, I could conceivably go to jail. No. Oh, if I'm lucky, I might get off with a reprimand. But at the very least, it's the end of any kind of effective political career. All right. So what? If that happens, it happens. We are together. We love each other. We'll, we'll open our own law practice. I know that appeals to you. No, no, that's not my, my first choice. Of course not. But we're together. We have a life. We have decided that loving each other is the most important thing. And it is the most important thing. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give the rest of this up without a fight. Of course you won't. And I won't either. And you are going to win. Frank, there are so many people that believe in you. How did your mother and father take this? I haven't told them yet. All right, well, I'll come with you. No. No, you stay here with Faith. All right. I just wish she had told me sooner. I heard you pacing up and down all night long. I felt so helpless. Oh. But I didn't want to interfere. I was hoping I could come up with some kind of an answer before I said anything, you know. Jill, you've been through so much political hassle. I know you're starting to hate it. I don't hate anything that is a part of our lives. Frank, don't, don't start trying to protect me. It reminds me of Seneca, and that's just trouble. I I'm sorry. I, I, I should have told you. I, I, I guess it was just my pride. I don't know. That's really dumb, because, I mean, the one thing that I am sure of is you. Mrs. Coleridge, oh. what 
a nice break in my morning. Thank you. Your secretary said I could wait in here. Yes. I'm on my way to my brother-in-law's funeral. That's why I look like this. I'm sorry. Well, you look lovely. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't think it's crass doing business before a funeral. I have no negative feelings about you at all. Well, that's good, I guess. I need all the friends I can get. But I have the answer to my problems in commodities. You do? Bananas. I beg your pardon? That's it, bananas. See, I finally had a chance to talk to Maven, so what I want you to do is take all my money out of tea and put it in bananas right away. I just hope it's not too late. Maeve had those bananas a few days. Uh, no, wait, no, I'm not sure I'm following your train of thought. Now, you're speaking of your former mother-in-law? Yes, and she's into bananas, so that's where I feel the next upper trend's gonna be. You know how I've been losing in tea. Uh, yes, I'm only too aware of your losses. Here, come on, now, sit down for a moment. Well, As a matter of fact, I have made some notes on possible diversification for you. Well, why? I told you not to. I knew what I'd know. And now, I know. I want you to put all the money into bananas. So, just do that. I'm sorry. I simply can't. Why not? Because it would be totally irresponsible. See, as your broker, I have certain responsibilities to you, to which I've been giving a great deal of thought. Well, what's to think? Sell tea and buy bananas. <laughs> No, we can't possibly operate like that. Who's we? You and I. You are my broker. I pay you a commission to buy and sell what I want, when I want. Yes, technically that's correct. But I'd also like to think that I'm your friend. You know, after we had dinner the other evening, I realized what a really extraordinary woman you are, with an immense amount of raw talent, real financial savvy. Now, with some tutoring, some instruction in the field, you could really make it big. What do you call $100,000? Peanuts, compared to what you could be doing. Now, I have a proposal for you. I would like to really take you in hand and get into the fundamentals. There's a lot about commodities that you don't know. But I don't want to know. I feel, or Maeve does anyway. My system's worked so far. You've been extremely lucky. But it's not luck. It's brains and intuition. You said that yourself. Now, what's the matter with bananas? Bananas are up. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, you see, everything, all the commodities that you've invested in so far, based on this woman's whims, have been down or on the low side with the possibility for growth potential. Maid does not have whims. All right. How about this as a compromise? I will take some of your money, a small amount of capital, and invest it in bananas as a didactic exercise, a learning experience. And then, together, you and I can chart their progress. I'll put aside some time for you on a regular basis, and we can follow all the factors involved. No, thank you. Why not? It could be a sort of informal course in the commodities market. A special service for a very special client. I don't want any special service, Mr. Fox. When will Mr. Grimley be back? Well, not for some time. In any case, Horace is due for retirement, and I'll be taking over some of his, well, most of his clients. Well, not me. You can't just pass around clients like they're donuts on a platter. And if anybody's going to make a change, it'll be me. And I, in fact, I think that's what I'll do. Oh, no, but if I don't Mrs. have a, a broker that respects my intuition, then I'll just... Please, please. You're upset. Probably because of the death in the family. You've been under a lot of pressure. And yeah, my commodities are dropping. And in your, are you on my side or not? All right. It's a mistake. But I'll take your money and invest it in bananas. All of it. All of it. Well, that's better. And if I call back this afternoon and say, take it out of bananas and put it into blueberries or asparagus or whatever, you'll do it? It's your money. And I don't want to lose you as a client. Well, that's good thinking, Mr. Fox. Good morning. <laughs> We all 
know this is a pack of lies. Yeah. And soon everyone else will know it, too. I hope so, Mayor. What's happening with the FBI? Well, they've got two decent guys working on it up here. Somebody else up in New Hampshire. I'm sure somebody down in Washington. So far, they've been non-committal. They thanked me for notifying them right away, promised their full cooperation, all of that. Well, they have to know it's a frame. Well, they're willing to entertain that possibility, Mary. Only what can I show them to support that? Snow's dead. And any evidence we might uncover is going to be whatever, well, whoever that person is, is going to want us to uncover. Oh, this is also crazy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Frank, look, it's Bob. Now, look, I've been doing a little bit of digging up here, and uh, it doesn't look so hot, man. Is the FBI there yet? Yeah, they came by the New Hampshire office about an hour after I got here. Now, they're all ears for what I got, but they're not volunteering any information. What do you have, Bob? Well, the guy who's supposed to be in charge of the Ryan for Vice President Committee up here is just a little bit strange. Now, he started talking, but then he realized he shouldn't. And? And, for such a big-time supporter, he doesn't know very much about his candidate. I mean, the groundswell was supposed to start with, with him, but he finally admitted to me that somebody else put him on to you. Did he name any names? No, no, just other party members from over where they work. Yeah. Higher ups in NLW, right? Right, right. And then he got nervous and he wouldn't say who. I called the company, the door shut right there. I mean, all of a sudden, nobody's even heard of the junior senator from New York. Yeah, I can imagine. Frank, I don't know what the next move should be. See, I don't want the feds to think I'm up here trying to cover our tracks. Yeah, well, look, there's no sense hanging around up there. Come on yeah. home, Bob. And you know that that office, that headquarters, or whatever it is up there, is going to shut down fast as soon as the paper comes out. Okay. Right. So. Frank, however this thing got started, I know a lot of that support has to be genuine. Yeah, I know. St. Francis for Veep, right? I'm sorry. I... Thank you for everything. Well, 24 hours down, and we're still not a damn bit closer to the truth. It's... Where do you go from here? The first thing I have to do is tell Ma. And, uh, well, I'm not looking forward to but I thought the sad faces had something to do with the nature of the day. Bob, tell me. What? What are you talking about, Frank? You never peddled influence or anything like it in your life. No, of course not, but that's not what the evidence that was sent to Jack says. Oh, is that a fact? And what's Jack gonna do? Write the whole thing up in a nice, neat little story, huh? Doc. Just like he's always wanted to do, play right into their hands. Doc, Doc. Please. That's okay. It's just about what I'd expect. I'm gonna explain this once, slowly. And I hope you'll be able to grasp it. I can grasp anything. I have to write the story. Because if I don't, Somebody nice, like Wes Leonard, will. And if you think you don't like what I'm going to say, wait till you see what they do to your son. Oh, Jack, it's all a pack of lies, yeah. right? Well, I hope to point that out, if I can. Right now, it doesn't look like we've got much to go on. And if I can't, I'll write the story as sympathetically as I can. Because I believe in Frank, too, as a senator and as a member of my family. Honey? I'm gonna get my jacket. <sighs> Things are bad enough. Di, you have to lay off Jack. He is in a tough enough spot. Yeah, yeah. You might even apologize to him. All right, um, I'll say, uh, I'll say a couple words to him. Sweetheart, what can I tell you? I mean, this thing's hit me like a ton of bricks. Frank, listen to me, will you please? We all know you're innocent, and we'll all hang in together until sooner or later we can prove it. I know, Dodds. I only wish it were that simple. Hi. Hi. What is it, Tom? Oh, no. Well, I'm upset about him too, but it's something else. Hey. Oh, Jack, everything is so rotten. Oh, come on now. Is it Joe? Joe? 
Joe came by here to call it off. I don't even know why. Did he, he tell you that? <sighs> he gave me some kind of absolute garbage about the fact that I'm not being the right kind of person for him all of a sudden. Did you two of you have a fight? No, oh, he didn't even give me a chance. <sighs> I don't know what he wants. I don't even know what he meant. I, 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 he says he loves me and, and I don't know what I ought to do. Okay, okay, okay. Now, easy, easy. Now, Joe does love you. He has been telling me that for weeks and I, oh, it was so good between us. And I never wanted it to be that way in the beginning. I tried to keep all kinds of distance between us. You know all the rest. I fell in love with him and he's crazy. But then you don't really know what's happening. Well, he just walked in here and dumped it all on me and he wouldn't talk. He just left. Then you deserve an explanation. Maybe you better go get it. Go see him? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what I ought to do. Um, an hour when I get off from leave the church, I'll go out in the subway to see him at Sheepshead Bay. Ask him what the hell's going on. What if the perfect guy for you is in L.A. or D.C. or New York City? Get ready to take A Holiday, a new original reality series, all new this Wednesday at 10 on SoapNet.